Welcome back, you beautiful Seltzer fans, and happy third day of Hanukkah, if you celebrate Hanukkah. I was thinking this morning about what seltzer to review, and I was thinking about doing a Hanukkah theme, you know, uh, being in the spirit, and I noticed that Hanukkah decorations uh, typically are blue in nature, you know, whereas Christmas you see a lot of red and green and so forth, and I was wondering what that was about, did 30 seconds of research on Google, turns out it's just um, similar to the Israeli flag, and that makes a ton of sense, but... In keeping with that theme, I decided to review uh, Truly's Blueberry Acai flavor. Now, if you've seen this channel before, you know that I enjoy a, a combo flavor big time, a crossover like this, right up my alley. So let's get down to business. Yeah, this will play. This will play big time. This is a good seltzer. And so if you're just going by the numbers, you see that it's, it's pretty standard stuff. You got your one gram of sugar, 5% alcohol, you know, White Claw, Bud Light, Coors Light. They're all going to be in that range generally. What you don't see there is the juice content. And it, again, if you've watched this channel, you know that Bro Wendell loves a good juice content in his seltzer. Anything um, higher than 3%, I am just ecstatic about because you usually don't see much at all. And uh, long story short here, much like King Hippo's weight, uh, the juice content of this seltzer is unknown. Uh, truly ain't telling, and that be uh, leads me to believe it is zero. But nevertheless, I'm down with this seltzer. I like blueberry things. Wasn't always the case. Uh, I didn't like blueberries as a kid growing up. Now, I like blueberries themselves. I like blueberry products. And whatever they're doing with the acai flavoring, uh, whatever kind of sugar adjacent products are in this, it's working. It's coming together in a beautiful way. Highly recommend. Lahaim.